What is up? What is up? Oh, been a crazy, crazy week for me. Um, been watching a ton of videos, getting back on the the habit of of commenting. I've been really enjoying the videos and the content and all that good stuff lately. Um, contests are rolling through as far as different people and different contests, and that's always a good a good time. Um, I've just been a piece of a piece of s not freaking uh, getting a part of any of the contests, but they're out there, so might as well enjoy them. Um, let's see, let's see. I just came from the gym, so I'm kind of out of it right now, kind of worn out, so probably not the best time to shoot a video. <laughs> uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and get to the content. This will probably be somewhat of a short video for me, just because I'm not in the zone. Um, I've seen this picture on Google Images. What is there, one, two, three, four nine guys and all well eight of the nine are signed here and there's so a lot of them signed TTM and I think it's gonna be really really fun little project to work on um, I don't know if y'all remember this episode or not of the Simpsons but let's see here you got starting in the what top left you got Don Mattingly Jose Canseco, Daryl Strawberry, Roger Clemens, King Griffey, Steve Sachs, Ozzie Smith, Wade Boggs, and I believe that's Mike Sosha. Um, so I don't know. I think that'll be pretty fun. I mean, I definitely, definitely don't want to spend too much money on that project. Uh, I know the only way I could get Griffey, um, Mattingly, and a couple, well, maybe one or two of the other guys. Is through a paid signing. I'm definitely not going to pay a hundred plus dollars to get Griffey on some silly little project like that. Um, so we'll see where that goes. I think we'll probably send out to um, Wade Boggs first. Maybe Roger Clemens. I think you could still get him for twenty dollars, I believe. Um, TTN. We'll see. But I got two of them, so I'll be sending out both of them at two two different places. Uh, whenever you send, uh, whenever you have a project like that. Um, and you just never know how far you're going to get on it before it gets lost or something like that. Um, I have my Astros 1982 media guide that has been a, sh a ship to Nolan Ryan Foundation, which he's normally pretty good about signing his stuff, but it's been there for like six months now. <laughs> so we'll see. I might have lost that one. Um, that's that. I've been working really, really hard on... Some NFL Hall of Famers, TTM, through my little magical black book, if you will. Um, and I got just a ton. I mean, this is only half of them for the weekend. But who do I got here? Sonny Jurgensen, Mike Dicka, Fred Blitnikoff, Jim Otto, um, Forrest Gregg, Lanny Moore, Warren Moon, Y.E. Tittle, um, so, like I said, that's about half. And so I went on eBay yesterday and spent about 50 bucks um, buying commons. So I got just an ass ton of cards coming my way. Um, and they're all commons and, and such like that. So I don't, typically don't show those off until they come back TTM. Or if they come back TTM is when I'll show that stuff. Um, no need in boring y'all with, I think it's literally like 50 or 60 commons of those Hall of Famers. Uh, so that's been fun. And once I get done with this, I got a little a little silence, a little alone time to myself with the wife's at the store. So I'll probably pop off, you know, five or six TTMs real quick. Um, we'll get to some mail. It's, it's the off season now, so people are getting around to signing their mail. So I got Coach Bill O'Brien signing two of two. I really like this one. These are um, five by seven photos. And then this one turned out really nice, but just because of the background, it's kind of, you don't see the autograph very well. And how you kind of don't see it very well there, it's it's the exact same in person. It, there's zero streaks in the autograph. It's just because of the background. So I'll probably display this one with the shoes he sent me, with the tennis shoes. I'm Brett Selleck. Uh, Dale Jarrett, I sent that to ESPN. I think it was two and a half years ago, if I remember correctly. It was like 900 and some odd days. 
So really happy to get this back. This was a custom I had done ages ago. And I thought I was just going to blow through getting all those customs knocked out. And that one, I think that one is the last one that I had out. So happy to get it back. Um, you've seen this dude in a couple of my videos here lately. Um, you might see him one more time. It's just hard to... Uh, when the when the gravy train is, is on the tracks, you got to get as much gravy as you can, if you know what I mean. And Bob Lilly, um, as long as he's signing for, you know... Oh, well, you can get him for free. Um, and from what I've seen, he won't put a Hall of Fame inscription. But if you drop him a 5 or $10 bill, he'll um, write that inscription on there. So I got this in, and then I'm going to send a, uh, an 8x10 in the mail, and then I'll be done with Bob Lilly. I'll leave him alone. He's definitely done more than enough for me. I think that's my third one. He signed that 8x10 for my father that I gave my dad for Christmas. And he signed two cards for me now, so uh, really, really nice. Um, Dan Hampton, this autograph's kind of hard to see. Come on, focus. Uh, there you go. There you go. Um, Hall of Fame 2002, and uh, the inscription uh, with the inscription Hall of Fame 2002 and 99. I mean, you'll have to excuse the shakiness. I'm still coming down off some pre-workout. <laughs> so I still got the jitters. Um, let's see. I, I just watched a video of Troy Rudder where he addressed uh, people writing address down below. Um, I would say 80% of my addresses I send to the stadium. Um, there's really no secret there, and people still ask for the address. Uh, as far as the black book goes, um, anyone can buy the book. I think it's 40 bucks per sport. Um, let's see. It is, what is it here? Harvey Misselman. Last name is spelt M-E-I-S-E-L-M-A-N. Um, go buy his book. Um, it's 40 bones per sport. He has all the sports. He has um, actors, ad actors. Uh, MMA, NASCAR, like you name it, it's 40 bucks for all of them. And he sends you monthly updates as far as if an address isn't working, if an address, um, if a person passed away, um, if he has a new or updated address. All the addresses haven't been checked, they haven't been um, sent to. So, I mean, it's definitely not, it's full, well, let me rephrase it's far from a slam dunk, it's far from a guarantee. So, you need to watch what you send. Uh, but about 10% of my, uh, well, no, about 20% maybe, as of late, of my addresses come from there. I don't send any of my game use requests to um, private addresses just because I figure, you know, you leave that shit at work. You know, people leave that stuff at the stadium. I can't imagine an athlete bringing a ton of his equipment home, so why send the game use request to his home? At least that's how I look at it. Um, I'm in the military, and I bring very few of my things home. Um, they're all at work. Uh, let's see. Next, signing two of two. I was so happy when I got this in. Um, Joe Thomas. He signed in a little thin blue Sharpie. There you go. Um, it shows up really good in person, and it shows up really, well, pretty damn good here on camera. So super happy with that. And then this one, I was jacked about. He actually emailed me. Um, on the bottom of my TTMs, um, where you like sign out, I always write my email address. And this dude emailed me, and I was pretty happy with it. Uh, Eric Weddle, the starting safety for the Chargers. Um, badass safety. He's been there forever. Um, and I sent him a camouflage card. I wasn't a um, camo chrome one, so I didn't send a gold sharpie or anything like that, and I'm kind of wishing I did. Um, but he inscribed what I wanted him to describe, the come and take it. Which come and take it, uh, if you don't know, that was, what is that, the Battle of Gonzales, I believe, from the Texas Revolutionary War. Um, that flag from there, you can Wikipedia it. It's pretty um, iconic. I know when we were on deployment this past year, we had a huge come and take it flag in our ready room. 
that our pilots see, and it was one of the last things they seen when they left, and one of the first things they seen when they came back. And it basically says, if you want it, come and get it. Um, you know, so I really like that flag, and I really like the meaning of it. Um, so I was stoked, man, when he wrote that, when he, you know, inscribed it. Um, let's see, so that's that. Um, we had a couple couple email, a couple dialogue with uh, me and Mr. Weddle, and um, we'll see what happens there. I didn't ask for any game used or anything like that, um, but a really cool dude to kind of BS with the short little emails we did. Um, so we'll see. So that's that. Until next time, it'll probably be next week. My weeks are just crazy as shit right now um, between working, um, teaching, what else? I go to school. I'm in the middle of a college class right now. And then we got uh, basketball practice a couple days a week for my son. My wife's in school. She's got a full-time job. It's crazy, man. It's freaking nuts during the week. Um, it was never like this before, but the last couple months have just been nuts. And it doesn't look like it's going to change any, any time in the future. So I think they say um, that's called, um, yeah, it's called life. Uh, <laughs> so it happens. So till next time, guys, adios. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Um, please comment below if you see something you like or if you see something you didn't like. I always like the, uh, the little banter back and forth. So peace out.